so we're burning down the place today. Well, we're not really burning down the place. We're lighting our pastures on fire with the help of um, uh, a crew from five towns. And um, this is instead of uh, treating our fields with uh, Roundup, we're doing a very natural kind of approach, which is uh, to set the fields on fire. It's the right time of year to do that. And um, guys out here are doing a great job. It's really impressive. Um, as you can see, it was a little wet today, but still we got the fire going and um, they're burning down the field. So this is the second field that we're going to burn today, and it's a little different. This one is, uh, we're not going to be planting annuals here, but what's happened here is that um, the field is full of something called tall fescue. And um, we, this was a, um, I'll show you down there. Um, this field was planted as pasture about four or five years ago and did great, but the tall fescue kind of took over and became the dominant uh, thing here. And so what our intention here is, and the cattle don't like it that much. So, you know, yeah, we're in the business of feeding them stuff they really like to eat. Um, and so uh, this field we're gonna burn, um, and then we're going to, uh, and, and what will happen is it will come back uh, in a few weeks. It'll uh, be in great condition, but we're also gonna overseed it with our no-till drill um, with some other, um, perennials, for instance, uh, clover and a couple of other grasses. So um, this one is going to burn faster than the other one did. Um, and it's a little bit of a different use of uh, the uh, prescribed burn. Yeah, and what we're left with is uh, acres of um, beautifully clean uh, ground ready for our cattle in about a month. And I will be sure to post some videos of what this looks like over the summer and let you know the effect it has. 